Hello everybody and welcome to this afternoon's live stream uh, presentation from Lassau Theatre Education uh, College in Leicester. Um, this, uh, this next hour is dedicated to our digital specialisms courses, a range of courses that will give you some um, introduction to some um, other really useful online, um, online and computer coding and, and games developing type skills. Um, I've got um, the tutor, uh, Johnny Ridge, who will be uh, talking to you uh, later on in this uh, pre uh, in this presentation um, and I've got um, um, Dan uh, Kilgariff who's our careers advisor who will also give you a presentation about the free careers advice service uh, that we offer at Lassalls but let's get started um, with the um, with the presentation to let you know about this process online open day process it's a new one for us it's a new one for you uh, and although I do apologize for those of you who might watch more than one of these live streams so far this week it's great welcome to have you on board but I'm going to go through the information that I've gone through in um, each of those just to make sure that everyone's got the information that they need. If you've turned up here at this live stream today um, straight from our website um, uh, just to find out more about uh, the courses that's great it's welcome to you're welcome it's good to have you here that's why we wanted to put them live into the public so that anybody could join us but if you do want to continue in the enrollment process then we must you must register and to do that you go back to the website page and right at the bottom of the page and um, there's a, a registration form that you'll fill in we'll ask you for your contact details and how you access the net and what courses you might be interested in etc and once we've got your details on there you're registered we can we can continue with you through the process and uh, contact you to get in support and find out more about what it is that uh, you need and want to do with your learning so during this uh, live stream Q, uh, we have a q a we can't see or hear you um out there so the the way the that we want you to uh, communicate and interact with us during this presentation is through the Q&A process and if you see that little symbol that's up there with the question mark and the two uh, speech bubbles next to each other if the box is not already open that, that, that has that if you click on that little icon it'll open up and there's another box at the bottom of that um, that part of the uh, part of the screen which says ask a question that's where you type the questions or comments or anything that you want to say even if it's just to say hello I'm here who you here or maybe what it is that you're interested in and um, we'd love to hear from you if you don't want your name to show up on it then there's a little box underneath the ask a question that you tick and that uh, sends your questions through under the name anonymous um, I can assure you that all of your questions and comments and anything you write in that box and send to us comes to comes to us here in the studio first and then we uh, decide and choose the ones that will be published live for everyone to see so we will publish where you ask a question or a, a, or something like that about the course because other people attending might want to see the question or might want to ask the same question as well I will come to those questions at some point during the presentation um, um, and and or we might respond to you privately um, about anything you ask us that's of a bit more personal nature so feel free to send us your contact details or or ask those personal questions as well because we will um, keep those privately and we won't publish them for uh, for everyone to see um, if you're struggling with any of this online stuff or the um, and you want to know more and to get some support um, if particularly if one of the initial assessments is not working well for you you're getting a bit frustrated with it or it's that's that's the last thing that we want so we're asking you to just give us a call as soon as you can as soon as you encounter any difficulties within office hours obviously nine to five Monday to Thursday and until 4 30 on a Friday and somebody will, will put you through to make sure somebody give you a bit of support and advice over the phone about how to um, overcome those difficulties or, or get access to the thing that you that you want or need again you can send us an email to opendays at leicesterlearns.ac.uk to request anything to ask initial assessment or ask for one of our one-to-one uh, -one consultations with tutors or, or other advice staff 
in a minute I'm going to introduce you to um, to Johnny um, to Johnny Ridge and um, he will he'll talk to you about his um, about his courses and things that are on offer and um, that he, that he'll teach you about I'm just going to get his um, screen and the 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 Google meet call that I'm going to um, link you with and then there it is there he is he's live um, um, on the the screen now you can say um, hello to everybody, um, everybody out there, Johnny. Hello, hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm Johnny Ridge. Um, yeah, I've been uh, with LaSalle's for about a year and a half now. I've really enjoyed teaching these digital specialisms courses and uh, we're going to share a video with you in a moment um, with a bit more information about what those courses involve and hopefully you know, that will be helpful for you but it's great to be on here with you it's great and i'm just uh just need to i'm going to put my uh uh video back there while i um get ready to share the um the video that johnny's made and the reason unfortunately um uh, that we have to uh, stream a Google call for them is because Google is the is the system and the setup that we use at Lassels for all of our learners. It's part of our, our as part of being an um, enrolled uh, learner with us. You will um, you will be given at, um, your own. Um, Lester Learns email address and that links you with a lot range of the Google apps that we use uh, to facilitate online and uh, remote and supported learning. So there's, there's Google Classroom where the different resources and activities are posted by the tutor for you to use at your in your at your leisure and when you need to. So to help your learning. We also use Google Meets for any online um, um, courses or to meet the tutor or to have to discussions and get some support um, as well as uh, a Google Drive where we share um, documents and, uh, and um, your assignments and things like that. So you get access to the full suite of a, a Google account, um, a Google education account with us while you're um, while you're studying with us. So um, um, on that on that basis, I'm just going to about to uh, um, queue up and start the um, um, the video that um, Johnny's made. Anyway. Hello, my name is Johnny Ridge. I'm going to be talking to you for a little bit about the digital specialism courses that we're doing: the website building course, coding and programming, and games development. We introduced these three courses in last academic year and the benefit of doing these types of courses is that they introduce modern IT skills to bring you up to date with the current technological world. The courses give you the first steps into more advanced coding and they help you establish an online presence for perhaps a personal reason or for your own business and they help you discover creative ways to use IT skills. There are more benefits beyond this but I think these are a few key reasons to consider these types of courses. So I'm going to go through each one just briefly just to tell you a bit more about what we do on that course. So on the Build a Website course, we use WordPress uh, to go through the process of creating a website from um, choosing a theme that fits your either your personal project or your business, whatever the reason your website is being created for. We've done them for digital CVs so people have like a portfolio online. We've done them for, for businesses and personal reasons as well. Um, we go through customizing your site, all the different settings you can use uh, to change how the site works to make it as effective as possible. And developing different pages so you've got uh, a, an advanced website that has lots of different areas for people to go and visit. And the thing with this course is it's very tailored to what you'll your idea is. If you have an idea in mind for what website you want to create, we take you through that process. If you don't have any idea, you just want to build the skills, this is also for you as well as it gives you um, the information needed so that you can then go away and create a website and get that 
online presence for you or your business. The coding and programming course is an introduction to coding. We go right from the basics of a language called HTML. If that means nothing to you, don't worry about it, but it's a very simple uh, coding language to begin to create um, documents and websites through, through code. We look at not just formatting text, but adding colors and images in there and having those displayed properly. And to a slightly more advanced CSS, which is just another type of coding language. Uh, we look at all these elements, uh, learning what all of these things mean. So all of that stuff on the screen uh, might look very confusing if you've never done this before. But throughout the course, we go through all of these uh, tags and elements of code and discover what they do and why they're useful. Coding is a very popular thing right now and there are more advanced languages that this course will prepare you to have a look at. The third one, games development. For this course we use a software called Construct which is used by some very big names such as EA and Sega. Um, it's world-class software. You don't need to install any of it. You have free access to it through the course and it's just a website that you can go to and all of that's explained in the course as well. We create a top-down shooter game and go through all the processes of how to do that, how it works and we look at creating a platformer game as well. Throughout this course you'll get the skills needed to perhaps create your own game and the skills needed to know how to uh, find out more from Construct to follow their other tutorials and learn more and perhaps even uh, create a game and release it on um, the Apple Store, the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store as well. I'm just going to show you a short demo of the game's development just to, so you see a bit of what it's really like. So here I have a bit of a game I can preview it and we can have a look at this game here. I can move my player around when it's just loading. Here we go, we can move him around and there's some monsters as well. But at the moment I can't shoot, so let's fix that. All I need to do is find my bullet and drag that bullet into the screen. There we go, we've got a bullet. We use things called behaviors to make it move like a bullet and I can increase its speed to make it move a bit faster as well. Then we also have an element of coding in that we are describing to the game exactly what we want to happen. So we can tell the game that when the, the mouse is clicked, we want a bullet to be created. And we want it to be created on the player. So the bullet comes out of the gun. And we can also tell the game what that bullet is going to do when it collides with a monster. And we can tell it that the monster is going to lose some health and we want an explosion to appear. So it looks like it hits the monster and we could also destroy that bullet because once the bullet has hit the monster, the bullet doesn't need to be there anymore. And in the course, we'll learn all of those steps and we'll go through that slower so you'd be able to do it yourself. But just to show you how simple uh, just a few clicks is done. Now I'm now when I preview the game, I can shoot. That bullet appears, comes out of the gun. I can shoot these guys and there we go. I got a point. And if I go too close to them and they hit me, there we go. Game over. Got to restart. But that's 
an element of what we'll be doing in the games developer course. We'll be looking at this particular game and others. So there's the main three courses from the digital specialisms. I hope that this has been informative for you and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. That's great. A fantastic video there from Johnny. That's uh, brilliant. It's given me a real insight into what the um, um, what those courses entail and how uh, they're done. I know um, we've had um, Johnny's been running these courses um, with us for um, uh, for a, a little while now, and we've had some really positive feedback from the learners that have done it, including those that ended up um, having to do the um, uh, the course online all of a sudden when we uh, went into lockdown and uh, Johnny's uh, skills and ability to um, engage people and use the different um, use the different um, tools that um, that he shows you how to use is uh, is fantastic so I'm going to send Johnny's uh, Google Meet call um, to the live screen again say hello Johnny that was that was fantastic that was a really good insight there into your courses is there anything else you want to um, say to anybody attending out there? You may be considering whether these courses might be for them or not. Yeah, sure. Um, well, thank you for um, the feedback on the video. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, I hope those of you watching at home enjoyed it as well. Uh, for all of those courses, uh, my, my goal is to take you from a place where you perhaps don't know anything or very little about it and try and build it steadily throughout the course. Um, so they're designed for people who have never done it before. Um, so hopefully that encourages you, you know, if you're watching that thinking, I don't think I'd ever be able to code or build a website or anything like that. Uh, I do try and take it gradually with you um, to show you all the different steps and provide resources for you so you can keep working on it uh, between sessions if, if you have the time to. And sort of show you what you can do beyond the course when it finishes. Um, so I would I'd recommend if you're interested um, definitely consider um, joining the courses if it's if something you think you'd quite enjoy, even if you don't know anything at the moment about it, even if you've never touched a video game in a long time or you haven't you've hardly ever played them even, let alone make them. If, it, if you're if you're interested, then why not give it a go? What uh, what kind of um, you know you said they don't have to have had any experience with uh, websites or, or game designing or those particular things, but what kind of um, computer skills would you uh, general computer skills would you um, expect people joining the course to have to get to benefit the most from them? Yeah, thanks for asking that. Um, I would say you'd probably need to be pretty used to using your computer just in general. Uh, so someone who uh, regularly checks their email account, logs into different websites, um, does more than just a Google search on your phone, you know, uh, kind of using different websites and um, handling more than one website at, at a time, perhaps something like that. So I guess if you if you know you use your computer a fair amount and you go to a, a fairly wide range of different websites instead of maybe just Facebook, <laughs> um, but yeah. So you don't need to have loads of technical skills, but being used to using computers will definitely help. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we we advise and encourage people as well. If you know, if you've previously done uh, and gone uh, a bit beyond our, our um, what was our digital skills for beginners in the last academic year or what is now um, the digital foundation skills and digital essential skills level, particularly now that the new curriculum that we're teaching on that is all about transacting and um, and communicating online and feeling more confident in those um, online environments and um, using data and, and searches and things like that then um, we if if you're not if you don't feel that you're confident then we will we will take you through um, an assessment um, our, our general IT uh, ICT assessment will be able to show us uh, what level that you're at if you've not um, studied with us before to um, and 
we will advise you where you've got some gaps to to, to fill in um how, how to do that and we'll link you in with the courses to get there so even if you're not actually as confident as you are but you want to move to getting there we don't expect you to have a level two qualification or anything as high as that to join uh, these digital specialism courses they're just um um you know and they're an introductory level course so to to build your skills uh, build your skills from there that's uh, isn't that right johnny Yes, that's a very good description. Yeah. OK, so um, um, and um, what um, if people are if people are thinking of doing these courses and then continuing to do uh, study or practice at home, um, what kind of, um, you know, um, computer equipment or, or web connection do you think would um, would be if not required because you don't need to have this at home we can do the stuff in the, with with the course but it does you know but as i've meant, mentioned uh, in previous live streams and we'll explain a bit more clearly we have because of the um um current um situation we are going to have to reduce numbers in the college at any one time so courses might well be on a, a blended learning <coughs> method which means that you'll attend for one week in every two, one week a fortnight, and you'll be given um, activities and resources to continue and complete the the following week's um, class or study at home. Or we could uh, look to link you with um, um, online or or um, through Google Meets or the other methods that we use through uh, the the online learning that way. But what what kind of equipment do you think it would be helpful if people wanted to do it that way and study at home to to have? Johnny. OK, well, I think if you're watching this and you're not experiencing any delay in the streaming of this video, then you've probably got the right kind of equipment. Um, you don't need a particularly advanced computer. Um, you might have noticed from my video that it was an Apple computer, but that's just because that's what I have. That's not what you need at all. Um, for all three of those courses, everything we do is just on a web browser so like google chrome so as long as you have a web browser that works and you know uh, for yeah that's updated yeah and um yeah if it, if we have distance learning things where we're doing video calls like this then a good measure would be if right now this video is streaming to you fine then you've probably got the, the right equipment but it, it is a more of a benefit to have a, a, um, a, or, or can they do these can people do these courses if they only have a, a, a tablet or a smartphone device or is it is it preferable to have a, a laptop or desktop type um, um, how, how, how does it does it does it work well can they use a, a, a tablet or an iPad for example uh, I would recommend having a desktop computer or a laptop instead Probably for the coding course, you might be able to use uh, an iPad or a tablet a device. Um, for the web design one, um, we use a, web, a company called WordPress to build our websites with. They do have apps that you can build a website through the tablet devices, but they they run differently to, to the format that we'll be teaching. So. Um, so to fit with the course, it would be best if you had a computer or a laptop, uh, but perhaps maybe for the coding one, a tablet would be fine. OK, that's re that's really uh, useful information. And again, as I said, with the with the general digital support um, at Lassels, if you just if you talk with us about that when you're enrolling on your course and uh, we can uh, give you some support and advice about um, how to access these things or, or what other additional, um, like I said, training or um, courses that might benefit from you to uh, to go on um, and we can certainly talk you through accessing the the Google <clears throat> the Google platform that I just mentioned that we use um, um, to support the studying within the, the adult education college that's great I'm going to take this uh, uh, opportunity to remind everybody at home as well to 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 
write some questions so give us some questions on our question and answer pane as i was explaining to you at the beginning we'd like to be able to know if there's anything else that we've not covered or not mentioned that would be of use to you um as we go along um but in in the meantime i'm going to i'm going to um ask uh, our careers advisor dan to um <clears throat> share his introduce himself and share his presentation um with um with everybody so that um you can find out if you're looking at or if you're in the um, unfortunate position of needing to find a, a new job or a different career following this um, uh, during or as a result of this <coughs> pandemic that's that's going on or if you generally are fed up with your job and want to find something else or you just need to find work in general and you're not sure about how to go about it then um, Dan will be the person to speak to. Hello, good afternoon Dan. Hi Anna, how's it going? Absolutely, absolutely fine, that's absolutely fine. Go, go ahead, go ahead with your, with your presentation. Brilliant. Well, hello and welcome to everyone that's, uh, that's joined us today and welcome to this short introductory talk, uh, which is going to focus on the careers advice and support that's provided by Leicester Adult Skills and Learning Services. So as long ago as people have worked, they have realised that work should not just be about survival or hardship or just income alone, but it should be enjoyable and rewarding. Many of us are much more likely to work later into our old age than ever before, maybe even in job roles which don't exist as we speak now. But however, you can help future-proof your career with transferable skills for work, especially digital skills. Having an opportunity to access good quality and impartial careers advice and information is essential when considering your future career choices. At Lassos, we offer professional, impartial careers and employment information advice and guidance from qualified and experienced advisors. This support and advice will be tailored to your needs only, and we will encourage you to aim as high as possible and we'll celebrate learners who move on to new opportunities once completing courses with us. And we offer to ABUVS access that you need to careers advice for a variety of different options, depending on your needs. From face to face appointments, the use of a careers library or online careers and work related activities, as well as signposting you to other services that may be of benefit. We aim to do this as flexibly as possible across locations and formats, such as having a face to face appointment at the new Bishopdale Centre or even online where possible, where the bulk of our IAG around career and course choice is currently offered during this COVID lockdown. Whether it be for future studies, employment or a career change, our in-house career service can work for you to create a career plan and help you tailor a programme to your needs and career goals. You can be assured that the advice and support you are offered is provided by qualified and experienced advisors working within a framework designed to maintain high standards of advice. Lassos are a matrix accredited provider meeting their national standards for giving advice and guidance and continue to be rated a good provider by Ofsted across all areas of our work, including career support. So yeah, if anyone does have any questions right now, please use a Q&A panel to leave us a message, put your name number or your email and a, and a question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or if you'd like to know more information through the phone, please call the college on 0116-454-1900. And don't forget to look out for us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so that concludes this short introduction to career service at Lassels. Thank you all so much for listening. That was a great presentation, Dan. Thank you. Um, as always, I'm going to um, uh, share uh, share your video now. Oops, sorry, I've taken everything offline. So people, when we are open again at the college, know uh, who you are to um, uh, to give you a, a socially distanced shout to say, yeah. uh, I need some help or some support or advice or to book an appointment. You can also do that over the phone, as you were uh, as you were saying. So that's um, that's uh, fantastic. Thank you very much for your offering your time today. Please, anybody, if you've got um, any questions or things you want to know more about these courses, uh, they are uh, fantastic, incredible. We're hoping to be able to offer more uh, creative digital uh, specialism courses as we go along through the year, and um, the uh, the the opportunity to be able to um, offer these courses on a on a online only basis is 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 very. Um, very real it's a very uh it's, it's 
well, some of our courses that we found uh, uh, the best and most easiest to deliver uh, in the online method because you're you're working you're working on your computer and your their online um, skills. So um, that's. Um, uh, there, there are those options out there for those of you that maybe uh, maybe have vulnerable health conditions or that you might um, um, uh, might find it very difficult to get into the college or have uh, other caring responsibilities and the such like so to be able you know the option to be able to do a course uh, in the comfort of your own home is always uh, is certainly um, another benefit so I'm gonna um, um, ask you again to send us a question or ask us something in the in the in the chat pane um, um, I will say at this moment that some of these courses do have um, a, a course fee attached to them and that's um, a course fee that is unfortunately applies to red one it, it's not a qualification course so it doesn't um, um, apply the, you know the fee funding for qualification courses don't apply to these um, wherever possible um, where we they are work related skills Skills we do and uh, we'll try to offer them free but the the, the website course and uh, the games developer course certainly um, have a, a small course fee attached to them it relates to roughly around uh, two pounds an hour so it's a incredibly reasonable it's already heavily subsidized um, all of our even our paid for courses that um, where everybody has to pay for them so you're getting a really good deal of value for your money compared to some of the other online um, courses that I've seen um, but I'm going to um, um, so so sorry what I was just going to say is that um, because of that basis and because they are courses that you might have to pay for you are also able to enroll for them um, directly online um, over the phone through our enrollment team as people are already able to do with our leisure health and well-being courses you know the the pottery and the languages and the other things that aren't part of the um, the skills for work or the fun English and mass functional skills which um, qualify for uh, government funding for so um, but we uh, like I said we heavily subsidize them so that you can uh, take your learning and uh, move your learning on um, with without it being uh, any considerable expense it, um, it's community learning so you can you can call up and the enrollment advisors will discuss the um, the course with you and you'll be able to complete that online so you don't necessarily need to have to need to do one of our initial assessments for these courses and you don't need to uh, uh, come in um, to the, the college unnecessary. I'm just sharing Johnny's uh, screen back with you again. So I'm hoping um, he's there to, to, um, to, to wrap up. And if there's anything else that you think that um, we might need to, to cover in this presentation, over to you, Johnny. Hi again. Um, I'm not sure there's too much to add. I think we've covered quite a lot of it. I just uh, again, to reiterate, feel free to get in touch either right now on the chat or through the website or via email if you have any questions about those courses. We'd love to hear what you want to know and be able to help you with that. That's great. That, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for that, Johnny. Um, I'm going to um, start bringing the uh, live stream to a close very soon then if if we don't uh, get any more questions uh, about the thing but i just want to uh, remind people of the best way to get in contact with us um so we have um uh, our uh, email address which is open days at leicester uh, leicester learns .ac .uk, and um um uh, the telephone number is 0116454 In fact, I'm not going to bring the uh, presentation to a close just yet because there's a little bit more information that I've, I've uh, um, uh, forgotten to um, complete and it's to tell you a bit more about the um, online open day process and where we go, where you go from here. Um, I'm just loading that up now for you so bear with me a second um, so um, the um, give, give you a bit more chance to maybe ask some questions as well but um, once we've uh, gone from here um, um, for most of our, a lot of our courses as, as just explained doesn't account for these there's an, an assessment that you go through one thing I will say about this is as I said before if you're not sure that you've got the the those the baseline um, general computer use skills that 
uh, that you that we we said you, you need to benefit from this course, then um, it might be worth you um, taking our um, uh, ICT initial assessment. It might also give us an indication about what uh, um, additional IT courses that you might be ready for or that you might benefit from taking as well. But it's like I said, it's not an utter requirement to enrol on, on these courses. However, if you want our enrolment team to call you back next week as they are doing with everybody else who um, uh, goes through the process this week and does an initial assessment and is authorised for any courses, um, then um, get in contact with us this week and we'll, we'll talk you through it and we'll um, agree that. So when the enrolment advisors are calling people back to complete the enrolment, um, you'll, you'll get in there and you'll be able to get in there first with the, um, with the enrolment. Um, as I say, um, access to all of our courses, even the ones that you have to pay for that, that I was talking about that were subsidised, all uh, relate to this um, UK, EU and EEA residency status. You need to have been continuously resident in the UK or, or, the, or Europe and those areas that I've just stated for at least the last three years or more um, to be um, entitled to take these courses. Um, and um, there's no point in me talking about the unemployment, um, the low pay benefit because that doesn't, uh, like I said, unfortunately doesn't apply to these digital specialism courses, but you're getting skills and useful things that you can move on and have a practical use. If you come away from the building a website course having paid um, 40 pounds to learn the, the the skills 40 pounds or thereabouts um, um, then and you've got your own website for your business or your or your personal blogging or to share your holiday or whatever it is that you want to have that website for then I think that's you know a, a very reasonable price to help set up your website and and for you to be able to have the skills to continue managing running for it that those are the reasons why it doesn't um, automatically apply for um, completely fee uh, free, um, unfortunately. Um, I just take this opportunity to remind you that Lassels and Leicester City Council are obviously following the highest safety regulations, is follow, strictly following the government guidelines in relation to uh, reducing the spread of COVID-19. Um, that's why we're changing the uh, offering more online learning options and the blended learning options where you um, you are in the classroom for um, half the time that you would normally be, but you're supported to do the, the uh, learning uh, remotely in other ways, fully as through the entire length of the course. And obviously we'll have hand sanitizers and uh, one-way systems and the, the college will be reduced to um, only those people uh, expected to attend a class or um, another specific appointment um, at that time. It won't be open to the public until um, we're allowed to do so, until the social distancing guidelines are relaxed enough. Um, again, in, in, in complement to these digital specialism courses almost, uh, the backbone of our IT um, uh, qualifications and skills development courses um, takes you straight, as I said, from the digital foundation skills all the way up to a, a ACDL level two, as well as um, non-qualification skills development courses that we offer um, uh, covering the range of uh, Microsoft packages just if you if there's a particular point or skill or particular software package that you need to build those skills in then you can come along to us uh, to our develop your Microsoft skills course and do that there. Again um, the employment program is there with four courses to help you through the process from feeling confident about getting jobs all the way to um, uh, applying and getting a CV and successfully surviving uh, an interview and getting a job that all will teach you all the tricks and the, the, the best way to sell yourself as an employee as a prospective employee. So the Career Booster courses uh, complement these as well. So it's, it's a string of a variety of different Career Booster courses that include team building, uh, uh, presentation skills, cu uh, customer service skills, decision making, communication and a whole range of other of those skills that employers really look for uh, in candidates for, for jobs or for people that they've got um, in their work and those are part of the free um, employment skills courses available to people with a residency eligibility. Um, you've already um, seen and heard from Dan the careers advisor so you know that we have the free careers advice service as well. Um, and finally and last but by no means least, uh, maths and English functional skills qualifications are, are, are 
highly important and many jobs and employers these days require you to have a uh, level two um, in either or both maths and English um, as a standard now and uh, we also offer ESOL courses which are English courses for speakers of other languages so that you can build your skills and confidence towards um, towards uh, gaining the functional skills qualifications um, required. So these courses um, have their initial assessments just before the beginning of the academic year and so if you are interested or want to um, join one of these uh, courses you will need to do an initial assessment uh, so they can uh, we can decide which level of uh, course is right for you and if you let us know if you want to do that you let us know during this um, open day week process and we will make sure that your name is added to one of the lists to be contacted when it's time to start booking for those initial assessments and it's a good idea to get in early particularly this year because those uh, uh, those initial assessments are always very well attended and we'll obviously have to um, reduce the numbers of people able to attend each of those sessions this year so uh, it'll be a, a in your best interest to get on the list so that you're in the first group to be called to um, to book into those. Here's the uh, those contact details that I've been saying a few times through the presentation. It's open days at leicesterlearns.ac.uk um, as the email address and uh, the telephone number is 0116 that can be called from nine to five monday to thursday not friday as my presentation unfortunately says and uh, but it's only 4 30 it's 4 30 that we close on a friday so as long as you're within those hours there'll be somebody on the other end of the phone to answer your queries once the college is open up and we're uh, we're working um we're ha having evening um learning again those um telephone opening hours will be extended uh, to match that but while we're while we're still all working from home and um, and the Leicester's unfortunately still in lockdown that's um, um, that's that's the the times that the phone lines are, are staffed so um, on that basis I think we're drawing the this uh, live stream to an end it's been great and uh, to see that there have been people attending I I'm assuming that because we've had no questions asked that we've answered all of your questions and you've learned all that you need to know about these courses. Uh, um, let us know if you want to enrol in them. We'll send you the details about the dates and times um, and days these courses are running uh, when you ask and um, feel free to call our telephone number at any time during the academic year if you want to know more or if you want to um, enrol on these courses. So on that note, I'm going to say um, goodbye again and um, I'll, if you want to join us at one of the remaining live streams across the rest of uh, today and tomorrow morning then please do uh, there's a whole range of other courses that you might be interested that we're keen to tell you about okay take care thank you bye-bye <laughs>